In this mini lecture, we're going to go over the separation principle design procedure and do an example. As we saw in class, that since the eigenvalues of the full state feedback and state estimator can be chosen independently, we can design the two control laws separately and then put them together. The procedure has th three steps. First, pick the gains k such that the eigenvalues of a minus bk are placed in the desired locations p1 through pn for the plant based on the performance requirements that you're given, and use the MATLAB command place to determine the gain k given of an A matrix and a B matrix that will give the eigenvalues that you desire. Of course, the place command only works when A and B is controllable. Place the gains L such that the eigenvalues of A minus LC, call them P1 bar through PN bar, are a bit faster than the eigenvalues of A minus BK. You want the estimate of the full state to confer, converge faster than the control law U equals U sub R minus K X hat attempts to converge to the desired input. Use the MATLAB command place in the same way, only this time you pass in A prime and C prime, and then the desired eigenvalues of A minus LC. Notice right here, we're taking the transpose of what the place command returns, because the L gain needs to be shaped differently than K as it's transpose. In the third step, we combine these two systems together with the control law u is equal to u sub r minus k x hat. And what this looks like in block diagram form is say here's u sub r, and that's going to come in, I'm going to generate my error, feed that value into the plant, so this is a, b, c, and d, and state space form, out comes y, and what we're going to do is take the input to the plant. We're going to feed that around the plant. We're going to take the output of the plant Y and feed this into the state estimator. And the state estimator has a model of the plant, and it also has the gain L. And we saw in class how to, how to put this together. Then finally, we would take the estimated output X hat which is the estimated the, the output of the state estimator, which is the estimated state, multiply that by the gain k that we've chosen in step one, and feed that back with a minus sign uh, and to generate our error. The plant obviously has dynamics, which are x dot equals ax plus bu, and an output y equals cx. Here we would we can have a D term, but in this case, we've set, set D to zero. And the state estimator, so here's the plant, and then the associated full state feedback law. And the state estimator has dynamics x hat dot is equal to a x hat plus b u plus l times y minus y hat and y hat is equal to c x hat plus d u, where again, in our analysis, we set d to 0. We can always have a d term if, if desired, but uh, it just makes the analysis. you got to carry that d term around. Um, so you can implement the state estimator in a number of ways. Um, you can use uh, standard blocks. You could say, OK, I've got an integrator. And I've got x hat coming in, x hat dot. That means that x hat is coming out. Then I can recreate this equation, meaning I've got to take the gain a, multiply that by x hat, feed that back around. And I need b times u. So there's the gain b. The input to that would be u. And then also notice this equation requires uh, L minus L hat, so this is going to get a bit crowded, but I've got uh, uh, L times Y minus Y hat. Um, y hat comes by taking C, and then I get Y hat there. So I need to take that gain, multiply it by L, and then I also need to take the input Y, multiply that by L, and then I need to take those two and add them together. And I actually need to subtract this one there. That's L minus uh, L times y hat. Subtract that off, and then that gets 
fed into that sum junction right there. You could probably do a better job putting this together uh, in Simulink. And then the, the thing that I need to pass back through the gain K would be X hat. So I need to pick X hat off out here, multiply that by K, and that would be K X hat. That's the, that's the term that I want to feed back uh, into uh, this system over here. So this is what this subsystem could look like. You could do it in a number of ways. This is just one way. So let's go ahead and continue on with our example of how to do a state uh, state space design um, with the separation principle. Recall that we had an A matrix in this example that we started in the last lecture. We had an A matrix of 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1. We had B equal to 0, 1. And we had C was equal to the identity. But in this case, we're going to say that we don't have full state, and we're only going to measure the position. So in this case, D is 0. And we had some performance requirements based on uh, wanting some eigenvalues for this system. So we had uh, our performance requirements that we needed a settling time less than or equal to one second. We needed a max overshoot less than or equal to 0 0.1 and a rise time less than or equal to 0 0.5 seconds. And that said that we should have eigenvalues in the locations um, minus 4.2 plus or minus j times 4.2849. And that gave us a gain k of 35 and 7. So now what we want to do is design our, now that we have a different uh, output matrix, C, we need to design our uh, gains L so that the system converges a little faster. So what I'm going to do then is say that P1 bar and P2 bar should be faster than these gains. What that means is that I need the negative uh, real part of the eigenvalues of A minus LC to be a little more negative than the eigenvalues of A minus BK. So let's go ahead and just choose, say, minus 6 plus or minus J times 4.2849. So we'll keep the... Uh, imaginary part the same. There are, there are different schools of thought on how to do this. This is just one example. So we now need to go into MATLAB and run the place command. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we've now opened MATLAB and we're going to go ahead and look at our design example for the separation uh, principle design. First, we, we've defined our matrix 0, 1, and minus 1, minus 1. We have B is 0, 1, C is now 1, 0, and D is 0. And we define that we want eigenvalues uh, P equal to minus 4.2 minus J times 4.2849 and minus 4.2 plus J times 4.2 eight four nine we can get the gain oops uh, we can get the gain k using the place command a b and p there's k notice um, I should have checked the rank of the controllability matrix given a and b and there's that's two that's full rank <clears throat> Next, we can calculate uh, L by L is equal to place, give it A uh, and A prime and C prime. And then we need to give it P, but I'm going to add uh, 1.8, or sorry, subtract 1.8 from each of the poles and then take the, uh, take the uh, uh, transpose of that. And what I've done here, P minus 1.8, that just subtracts 1.8 from each of the um, poles, so I get they're a little bit faster now. And again, I can check the eig of A minus L times C. You see that I get those poles. And again, I should have checked the rank of the observability matrix. 
given A and C, and uh, full rank, so we're, we're good there. Finally, I can run all this in Simulink, um, and here's my Simulink code. Notice I have my, my plant, and uh, I've done this uh, slightly differently than just using the state space block because I wanted to be able to get X out of here um, so that I could um, go ahead and, and look at X independently. Notice this is the state equation over here, and then this is the gain C, so that's, and this is D, so that's the uh, output equation. So this here represents your, your state space representation of the system. And then my state estimator I built this way. It's a little bit different than, than you might build it uh, or what I drew on a piece of paper, but it also includes the D term. And then overall, though, we have this whole system. And this is just using the subsystem block uh, that you can find in the, um, in the uh, block uh, library explorer. So I can run this code. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run it from here. I have um, this example. Um, it's a little bit different because I'm looking at a few different uh, ideas. Let's go ahead and change these back to, um, I'm going to do changes to what we had in the example. So that it'll be, um, and these are kind of, these are the good ones. And uh, I'm going to run a few different cases. And I'm going to show when the, 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 uh, the polls actually are slower than the of the state estimator are slower than the poles of the uh, of the uh, full state feedback control law, uh, and you get you get some different kinds of behavior. So we run this script, and and this is the main thing to look at is this this particular figure right here. When the uh, when we have the initial conditions matching on the state estimator as well as the plant, we get this line here, which is the, that was our step response that we had uh, prior to um, when we had full state. And when I have non-matching initial conditions with a fast state estimator, that's the red line here. And that's when uh, we subtracted 1.8 from each of the poles. And that gives us a pretty good convergence. And our step response, while it still has a little overshoot, the transient response not quite the same, notice it, it still converges pretty quickly. And then the green one is where we had, actually down here, we made the poles slower. And so what this does is it doesn't match up with the uh, this the full state feedback as well. And so in other words, we get more overshoot, we get a slower settling time, and because the uh, full state feedback is uh, using the non-converged uh, or the the bad estimate for the estimated state. And notice if we make these even slower, then we'll get convergence that gets even worse. All right, you can, you can see it has even more overshoot and it takes and, and uh, settles uh, even slower. And of course, if we wanted to get uh, the gain uh, properly, in other words, we wanted to get um, the, uh, the full state uh, feedback uh, with state estimator to converge to the, the value of the input one, um, then we would need to add our, our gain on top of u. Uh, so that we can get this to go to 1 instead of uh, the 0 0.25, so, uh, 275. So this is the uh, loop gain recovery idea. So that's how you do a state estimator uh, with full state feedback design using the separation principle.